In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a lot of the key tools you need to know to be successful at creating simple diagrams on graphics in designer.gravit.io. And the task we're going to do today is we're going to create this rocket ship. So we can make this rocket ship with simple shapes and then editing the simple shapes and using some of the tools um, effectively to create this. So let's get into it. Once you've signed into Gravit Designer and you start creating a new design, you're faced with this page here and you've got some options here you can look at. You can scroll down through here and open up some already existing um, creations, but we're going to just use this option over here. But obviously you can look at print, web and desktop, social media, and they're gonna give you some pre-record, um, preset sizes. But we're just gonna make a simple document here and we'll make it um, 500 pixels by 500 pixels and click on create. And what you see here is the artboard and everything you create is going to be on, on that 500 pixel by 500 pixel artboard and anything outside the artboard is not going to work. And over here we've got the, the, the sub tools to any particular um, uh, object that we're working with and we've got other tools up here and we're going to be looking at the, some of the tools in this toolbar along here at the moment a bit later on. But we're going to start off making our rocket by making the main fuselage and to do that we're going to use we're going to in fact make most of it you just using these simple shapes here and we're going to use the polygon so i'm just going to draw a regular by default hexagon and drag it on to doesn't matter the size just want to make sure that it's yep yeah, it's level and so over here once we've now created it over on the right hand side here we can see that um, a whole load of the uh, extra tools can be um, come active. We can change the fill color, we won't bother with that for the moment, but for this we want to turn our hexagon into a pentagon. So over here, appearance, it's a six-pointed uh, um, polygon, so we want to make it a five-pointed polygon. Maybe. Yep, that's what we want, and I just want to rotate this so the base is flat, and I just want to make sure over here and the size, I want to make it about um, 175 pixels wide, just so the proportions right. So click on that, and there we go. Here's the start of the fuselage of our rocket. So, uh, what we're going to do here now is we're going to convert this shape into um, lines. So, we're going to right click and we're going to convert it to a path, and that allows us to edit the shape. So, um, I right clicked on the shape, click convert to a path and you can see here's the um, keyboard shortcut. Now over here we've got some other tools that become active on the toolbar up here. We're going to use this, um, this, this select tool over here and the shortcuts are V and D. We want to use the sub select option and once I click on sub select we can see the editing points on this shape. So this is a bit, a bit too pointy for a space rocket. They've got nice curves. So I'm going to select these two points here. And again, over here, we've got some other options over here. And the one we're going to look at at the moment is the corner option. So I'm just going to slide this corner option. Can you see how the, the shape of the rocket changes at the corners? That's about right. I think that looks good. Whoops, I've slid back. So just click on here. And now to set it, we need to click. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Let's do the same at the top. I'm gonna to select that one. I'm gonna slide this. That's looking pretty spaceshipy. Click on there. And now this time I'm going to click and press shift and click. I want the two corner options here to be rounded and use the round option. And so now we've started to create the, the fuselage of our rocket. Now we're going to make some fins now. So I'm going to use the shape tool again. I'm going to click on the rectangle. I'm just going to make one. Well, the fins, they're more like wings really. So I'm going to, here's my wing and I haven't done any coloring yet. So I want it to be about there. And again, right click. I'm going to convert this to a path. Make sure the sub select or D is pressed. And all I'm going to do is click on this corner here and I'm going to slide it down so and I'm making sure it stays in the green line, it's in, in line with the bottom point. That looks like a wing. Click off of it. And now I want to come back up to here, click on the pointer 
and I'm going to um, copy it. So Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V, or you can even do Control D for duplicate. I've now got two wings, and now I'm going to use the flip function here. So I'm going to flip horizontal, and now I'm going to slide this across, and I've got my two wings. So we still haven't decorated our rocket, but you can see we're beginning to get the shape going on here. What I want to do now is make the auxiliary rockets, and we're going to come back up to your shapes again. Click up here, we're going to click on ellipse, and this time I'm going to make a, a teardrop, I think it, about that size. Yep, that'll do. And so again, like I did before, I'm going to right click on this, click convert to path, select, subselect here, and this time, I'm going to um, click on this one here, and I want the bottom of the rocket to be slightly flatter than the top of the rocket, so it looks like it's got a, a jet um, base. And this is just a question of just pulling out these handles until you feel as though they're about right. And I think, let's have a look at that. What was that? that look like? Let's have a look on here. Let's go back to here, pointer. Let's click on this. Let's move this into position. What do we think? Does that look like? Yep, that's looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start decorating. So what I want to do is obviously I want to make one ro um, rocket here and duplicate it and put it on the other side. So I'm going I'm to do everything to this one here. So now I'm going to color the, the tip of the rocket. So I'm keeping it gray at the moment so you can see against the white background. It won't be gray, I'll change that in a moment. So now I'm just going to select it and I'm going to copy it and paste it in place. So there's now two of these, if I slide them over the top, you can see, there's two of those objects in the same place. Now I'm going to use a technique to cut out a shape. So I'm going to use a circle again and I'm going to just, it doesn't matter what shape you do it. I'm gonna just try and put this over the top so it's centered. That looks about right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine these two shapes together. So I'm, that one's selected and the top layer of the objects is created. And what, to do, what I want to do is I want to combine these two shapes so just that combination bit, like the center part of a Venn diagram, is kept. And we can do that over here on this function here. And we can all do all kinds of things, but we want to use the intersect function. So we're gonna click on that. I've now been left with a little, um, like a fingernail. And so now I can fill it with color. So I'm gonna just fill it with red. There we go. So now let's do that again. I want to do a, a black base down here. So again, I need to copy this. Command C, Command V. And that's got a duplicate layer of that. And again, this time I'm going to use a circle and I'm going to add this over the top and I'm probably gonna make that a bit flatter, more of an ellipse. Let's have a look over there, what does that look like? Uh, might make that a bit bigger. And again, you just get your, get the feel for this, how you want it to look. Perhaps a bit flatter. And again, select and select, and then use the intersect function. And now I can fill that with a dark, let's fill it with a dark gray. So now it looks like I've got this pod for my, my rocket. Now I need to take make the um, fuselage here. I need to make it white. So click over here. And it's now well, hard to see. You can see why I was um, not filling it in to start with. But I, I want to make it look like it's got a shadow. So I want to click on this. I want to duplicate it. And I'm now going to use this knife function here. So I need to subselect. There it is. Click on the knife function, and I'm just going to slice down the center. I haven't quite got it right, so I'm gonna command Z that, slice it again. I wanna go right through the center point. That's it, like that. And now I've split that shape in two, and I'm gonna delete the left-hand side of this. So come back to here, click on the pointer, click on, let's click off, then click. There it is, delete that. But now I can select this, and I'm going to fill that with black and I need to bring this up to the top layer so use command and up arrow there it is 
or that would be control and up arrow and now this is going to be my shadow so I'm now going to come across over to here and click on the opacity function and slide it down and again this is just a feel thing until you think that looks like a sensible shadow for a rocket pod let's leave it there oops again I forgot to click let's leave it about there so now last thing I need to do is to highlight that group it you can right click group selection or you can see control or command G click on that and I can duplicate so I'm going to just copy that command C command B and I can drag this over to here and I can drag this down to here and we can see with these alignment tools I'm beginning to have a, a rocket being built so let's let's color these let's just quickly rush onto this let's just fill this with these base colors let's fill this with base color as well done and again these are too high up the stack so if you click on them here the highlights you can just drag it down it goes down click on this one drag that down to the bottom and so now we've starting to get our rocket being created now we need to decorate the main fuselage of the rocket so now we're going to work on the fuselage and again it's a large amount of repetition required to, to get to get the fuselage going again so we're going to um, select the object yep command C command V paste it in place and we're going to make a tip for the rocket so again grab a circle and drag this over the top center it up that looks good select both of them use the intersect function and we can give that a red color there it is so now we've got the red tip to our rocket we're beginning to build it up and we're going to click on this command c command v duplicate that and we're going to this time use the ellipse tool and we're going to make a, a much broader wider circle here that'll do and I'm just doing this quickly I'm going to use the intersect function here again there it is fill that with color here's our rocket and it's all being cut to shape so it's all nice and accurate for you so this is all beginning to come together now so let's put a window in this is much easier this is just a circle copy that let's give the circle a what color should we give it uh, kind of a steel border click on this we're going to copy that paste it we're going to resize it and you can use the guides that's exactly in the center there give it a glass look let's click on here it's a bit bright let's make it a bit like that it's looking good just make sure that's centered yes it is and we can group these group selection we resize it a little bit big put this in here here's our window for our astronaut to look out of centered it's a bit big might put it in the middle yeah centered so now we now need to create the shadow again so I'm going to click on the fuselage copy it paste it in place use the sub select function grab the knife tool slice it all through the center which is good grab the pointer tool click on the half that we don't want and delete it click on this half and fill it with black and then use command and the up arrow to come up through the layers until it's on top of everything and then use our opacity tool down at about 20% remember to click and there we have our rocket next we need to add the flames to the rocket I've um, grouped this object now and I've made it a bit smaller to give myself a bit more room on the artboard to work with I think I want to put a little um, uh, 
jet nozzle on the bottom of the center here. So I'm just going to create a quick square in here. And I'm going to change the corners. Let's make it, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And I'll just squeeze it in a little bit. I might zoom in to make sure I get the right scale. Just click up here into zoom. And I'm going to put it just here, like that. I'm going to make it uh, kind of a grey colour. And now I'm going to use um, Control or Command and the down arrow and send it down through the stack. And so now there's my little engine exhaust port for the flames we're about to make. Yeah, that'll do. So come back out again. That's looking a bit better. So now we're going to make a um, flame. And we'll just make one and we'll just scale it. So I'm just going to use the ellipse tool again. And this time I'm going to convert this to a path again. Click on the subselect option, subselect here. Now this time I'm going to delete this one and delete this one. So I've only got two points. I'm going to use those grab handles again, click on this and stretch this one as wide as you think looks reasonable for a flame exiting out the back end of a jet. That's looking pretty good, but obviously I want this to be a bit, bit more pointy and a bit more aggressive. So I'm going to just zoom in a bit and I can slide these handles in towards the origin. Slide this one in towards the origin. And now I've got a nice pointy um, flame. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with, uh, let's go yellow, orange, sorry. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to fill that duplicated one with yellow. And then I'm going to scale that. Oops, then I'll join those together. Just move this around so it's nice and centered. I'd like a little bit of a gap there. And then I'm going to copy that, paste that. And this one I'm going to make white. And I'm going to scale that one as well. Make this much smaller and scale that into the center. A bit more control and that's looking pretty good. And so now I'm going to group these. Right, now I've made my first flame. I can copy it, which I've done, and I can scale it for the smaller motor and move it into place. And I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna move this one to the other motor. And then I'm going to click on this one and move this to here. And then if we zoom out, we can begin to see our rocket being um, with flames. We're getting there. Last thing we need to do is put it into space. So we're going to click on here, make a rectangle, and we're going to make a background. And we're going to choose a fill color. I'm going to use uh, this one here and kind of make it dark, spacey color. Click on the object, command, and just go back down through the stack. And there we have a rocket made with a pentagon, a square, and a couple of circles. Good luck with your own challenges of doing this.